Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at Linux Mint 22.2 Zara, the new long-term support release that promises a comfortable, reliable desktop for years to come. If you value a set-and-forget experience with modern hardware support but without the upstream controversies, Zara is built precisely for that. Officially released as an LTS, this version is supported until April 2029, so it's an option you can install and forget about for the long term. Under the hood, Zara brings a meaningful hardware refresh. It ships with the Linux 6.14 hardware enablement kernel and is based on the Ubuntu 24.04 family. That gives Mint more recent drivers and better out-of-the-box support for newer AMD and Intel platforms, including performance and power management improvements that benefit modern CPUs and GPUs. You'll notice several subtle, but welcome, user interface upgrades intended to make the desktop feel more modern without changing how Mint works. The login screen now supports blur effects and user avatars, giving a more polished first impression. Under the hood, the Mint team patched Lib Eduada so those newer GNOME-style apps play nicely with Mint themes, and they shipped a Mint fork called Lib Adopta so themed Lib Eduada apps behave correctly across Cinnamon, Mott, and XFCE. Flatpak slash Lib Eduada applications also respond to an accent color pulled from your GTK theme thanks to XDG desktop portal support, a small touch that helps the whole desktop feel consistent. The Software Manager and Update Manager get practical polish too. The Software Manager now explains the difference between Flatpak and System Packages right in its welcome screen, and Update Manager has been tuned to be more helpful. It will show a reboot button when required and guide users cleanly through the in-place upgrade path from earlier 22.x releases. These are exactly the kinds of quality of life changes that make day-to-day -day maintenance less stressful for regular users. On the app side, Mint keeps improving its X apps and bundled tools. Hypnotics, the IPTV viewer, gains new display modes like theater and borderless alongside startup and playback improvements. Sticky notes were modernized with rounded corners, Wayland compatibility, and an option to sync via a community Android companion app called Stinksy Notes. Perhaps the most visible new utility is Fingwit a native fingerprint manager that integrates with the system's fingerprint stack so supported readers can unlock the screen, approve pseudo requests, and authenticate admin actions through a simple graphical interface. These additions push Mint toward a more polished desktop while staying pragmatic and user-focused. There are also smaller under-the-hood refinements, improved color handling in XViewer, a brand new AIFF audio thumbnailer for media browsing, and tweaks in Web App Manager so web app descriptions are editable. Together, these changes don't overhaul Mint's identity. They simply tidy it up, modernize what needed modernizing, and keep the distribution familiar for longtime users while giving newcomers more polish. If you're already on Linux Mint 22 or 22.1 and want to upgrade, the path is straightforward. Back up your data first, open Update Manager from the menu, Choose the Edit menu and select Upgrade to Linux Mint 22.2 Zara. Then follow the on-screen steps and accept the final disclaimer when prompted. After the packages install, reboot when requested and verify your system. It's that simple, but a backup is highly recommended before any major system upgrade. To wrap up, Linux Mint 22.2 Zara is what Mint does best, a conservative, well-polished desktop with sensible modernizations improved hardware support via kernel 6.14, and a few real conveniences like native fingerprint management and better flat pack slash theme integration. If you want a desktop that's stable today and still supported in 2029, Zara is worth a close look.